Hi, hello, YouTube land. Check your clocks and temperature our time. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we were introduced to our wonderful object mission objective. Uh, we, we, we completed the, what's it called? The inside of the Great Deku Tree. But, unfortunately, it was all in vain. He passed away. He entrusted us with uh, this. This witch doodle here, which is the Kokiri Emerald, which we need in order to open the Door of Time, according to Princess Zelda here, by the way, which we also met last episode, and we got Zelda's letter, which we got to show somewhere um, in Kakariko Village, which is where Impa told us to go, which I believe, which could be soon. But before I do that, I have to do some things before I head over to Kakariko uh, Village, because I think, I'm pretty sure Navi's going to say it, but... I think we gotta go talk to Saria first, or something like that. And then we also gotta head to another location. It, it's it's gonna be all self-explanatory as I go on. But let's go ahead and jump right into it, have some fun. You know what to do, guys. Leave a like for Legend of Zelda. Leave a like for the Ocarina of Time, uh, Navi the Fairy. Oops, oh, uh, oh, Navi had something to say, but it was too late. Yeah, but I think we gotta be here, the Lost Woods. All right, if I remember, it's like a big old maze. But what a wonderful theme, I swear. Uh, oh my god. General Pepper here! <laughs> Link! Good to see you again! Listen to this! Hoot hoot! After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh! What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too! Ho ho ho! Do you want to hear what I said again? Nah, I'm good. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoot hoot! General Pepper Pepper out! <laughs> it's, just, it's just General Pepper disguised as an owl. That's all it is. Nope, not over here. Yeah, the music is faint when you uh when you're away from our location. So what would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? Well, we're about to figure that out. Uh is it this way? Yep, yep. The Sacred Forest Meadow. Alright, so we're here in our location. Hello. A wolfos. Draw it close to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. Alright. There we go. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. Alright, now let's keep going. Hey, at least it saved my money. I hear things. Ah! What are you? Mad Scrub. If you get close to it, it will hide in the grass. There we go. I guess a Mad Scrub and a Deku Scrub are two different scrubbies. Ow. Get back. Come here. Don't run from me. You make it harder if you run from me. Oh, we got a heart. We need that, actually. Any more Mad Scrubbies about? Hello? Oh, I thought this was deeper than that. Ow! Yeah, that's right. Hide in the grass, you coward. <laughs> You're lucky. Alright, moving on then. Yeah, here's where we need to be. Saw it, dude. Boy! Okay. <laughs> yeah! So many nuts. Oh. Hello. You got Deku Seeds. These are small, hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Alright. Die. Die. There we go. It ain't easy cutting grass, let me tell you what. I'll tell you what. Alright. My god, it's beautiful. There she is, beautifully singing, or playing the instrument beautifully. Ain't it beautiful? Why? I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel... This place will be very important for the both of us someday. 
That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Absolutely. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Okay. Follow along with Saria's song. Down right left, down right left. Beep boop ba, beep boop ba. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I thought of BF from F and F. Hey. Da 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 Saria's song. <laughs> great, great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. Awesome. Wow. I got power. You've learned Saria's song. Yeah, so she's technically like, I guess like another Navi. But if you want to like, like if you don't know which way to go, she's like a navigation point, technically. But more often than Navi, I suppose. Like, Navi will kind of, like, show up randomly, but if you sing with Saria, then she'll show up, like, on the dot. That's what it is. Okay, but now, after this, I believe I have to head somewhere else, too, and then I can head to the village. Because it ain't easy being Linky. Oh, my God. General Pepper here! <laughs> Did you learn an ocarina song from Zaria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with the C button where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed, just like this. Ho 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 ho. Do you want to hear what I said again? Nope. Melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. Pepper out! I must fly. I smell a rat nearby. <laughs> I'm gonna gouge on it. <laughs> digest it. Wait, uh, owls don't digest the bones, don't they? No, they have owl pellets, that's why. Like, they eat, they eat the meat and the skin, technically. But they just regurgitate the bones. That's, <laughs> that's owls for you. Gotta love them. Alright. Well, whilst Mr. Kepora Gebora over there, that's the owl's name, by the way, he's just gouging on rats. <laughs> I've got a job to do. And that's getting to my next location. God, Hyrule Field looks beautiful. Especially, you see Death Mountain in the back over there? Ah, oh, I love Death Mountain. Like, I wish it wasn't called Death Mountain, otherwise I would visit it often. Because <laughs> that's how my, much I love Death Mountain. I believe it's over here. It takes a while to get to these places on foot, huh? Look at that, it's already sunset. How many seconds have I been out here and it's already sunset? Days go too quick in this game. Like I said, Pikmin will not survive. I guess I can roll. Let's go, Link, go. I did it. Oh, Lon Lon Ranch. This is the place I need to be next, by the way. Yellow. That's all. There's no music though, because it's almost uh, sunset or nighttime, I guess. Oh yeah. What the heck am I? What's wrong with me? I don't even have my ocarina out. <laughs> what? 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 I should have done that like the very get-go when I had it out, or when they when Saraya gave it to me. I am a fool. Egger, it's your boy. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Uh, 
They always run from me. <laughs> they always run. It seems like Opona's afraid of you, fairy boy. But he was... Everyone's afraid. I'm just misunderstood, that's all. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Maybe we can. No? I want you to sing. There we go. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. Up, left, right. Up, left, right. Up, left, right. Okay. Up, left, right. Up, left, right. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Pona song. You've learned a Pona song. A pony. <laughs> the the nay winny oh, the nay witty song. Well, at least she's not afraid no more. Oh my god, General Pepper here. <laughs> Just observing. That's all. Don't be creeped out. I think it's a lot better that instead of his, his of the owl, it's just General Pepper from Star Fox. I think that's a wonderful idea ever. Okay, I think I gotta go over here, I believe. What's vibing? Oh my god. This dude did get eaten by chickens. <laughs> oh no. Ah, ah, what's up? <laughs> I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the poorest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got my lawn back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within a time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. Want to play? Sure. You have 30 seconds. All right, then. Get ready. Here go the super cuckoos. Start looking. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They have ascended. Oh, oh, wow, I already found both of them right there. That's one of them. Keep it up, keep it up. Two more to find. Uh, you're around here somewhere, you stupid chicken. Not that one. Not that one. He done got away from me. <laughs> no. Oh, there's another. All right, now the moment of truth. One more to find. Ah, I only got 15 seconds. <laughs> Where you at, you blasted bird? Now! <laughs> uh, this is a pathetic game! Time's up! Too bad! These are some great cuckoos, aren't they? They're raking in money for me! Come back to me, my babies! Dang it! Wanna try again? A young man like you must have a real fire in your belly. Find three of them within 30 seconds. Try again for five rupees. Okay, it's five rupees. It's a lot cheaper. All right, let's do this. Start looking. <laughs> Give me them burbs. Uh, that's two burbs. Burbs are around here somewhere. Stupid cuckoo birds. <laughs> Found it. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. All right. Hey, you. You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How'd you like to marry Milan, huh? I mean, it's not far off the table. Sure. <laughs> I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own Lon Lon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring it back. You can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Oh yes, oh yes. 
the, the goddess nectar right here. You got Lawn Lawn Milk. This milk is very nutritious. Use it with the seed button to recover your life energy. You will recover five hearts per drink. There are two drinks per bottle. On the select item substream, you can set it to the left, down, or right. Then use that C button to take a drink. Awesome. Yes, I love me some milk. I mean, you guys already know that. It's pretty obvious, but milk is the best thing ever. Sorry. <laughs> Next to water, tea, juice, beer. Not e Beer is not even on the lowest scale for me. Like, get out of here with that nonsense. Milk is what will get your boy buzzed. <laughs> If that's even a thing, which I hope it's not. But hey, milk is just as addicting, I guess. Chocolate milk, strawberry milk, vanilla milk. One time I had orange cream milk. No one believes me with that story, but I swear, I swear to cheat. At high school, I had orange cream milk. It was a, it was a carton. You know, with the, that, that blasted cow, Shamrock Farms, that's the company name. It was from that same company. And they had a limited edition orange cream milk. It was in a carton. And I had it, and it was delicious. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> but people think I'm crazy. I'm not. Alright. I think I gotta be here. It's nighttime, but... Kakariko Village. But I like nighttime. Nighttime's like the best time for me. Always. Okay. Let's wrangle up some thingamadoodles. Where do we gotta go first in Kakariko? I think over here. Hey, dude. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting, too. Well, hate to spoil you on your <laughs> joyous adventure into life, but, uh, <laughs> you're gonna get people like that anyways. You're gonna get the good people, and then you're gonna get the bad people. No matter what location you're in, you're gonna get the good and the bad. So... If you don't like people, then I'm sure people don't like you. That's just how it is. You gotta be realistic here. The graveyard. Yikes. Don't want to be here, but I got to. What's that, dude? Heart pounding grave digging tour from 18 to 21. That is. Oh, that's military time, so. Uh, why's it gotta be like that? Dompe the gravekeeper. 12, 13, 1, 14, 2, 15, 3, 16, 4, 17, 5, 18. So it's from 6 to something. What's this? The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. Hmm. I may have an inkling on what to do here. Hey! When you hear that chime, you know you've done something right. I am hearing sounds. <laughs> nice. Just a small little in interruption. Okay. Down we go. I do believe we gotta be down here anyway. The royal family's tomb. Yeah. Well, there's so much stuff down here. Hello. A keys. When you get close to it, you see targeting. Even if it flies away, you can still target it. Or just don't let it fly at all and whack it with a seed. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you can get seeds in the process too. Alright. Hello. Goodbye. God, there's so many wounds here. Check. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, if I'm part of the royal family, wouldn't this be a little bit overkill? Oh boy. Check. Shine light on the living dead. Okay. But it's nighttime. Uh, am I missing something here? I think I'm missing something. Oh. Right. Now, hello. <laughs> Get out of here. Get back. Okay. Now what? Is 
Ugh. Ooh. Guacamole. <laughs> My favorite. Uh, hello. You must be the worker. Oh, God, I'm stuck. No, no, no. <laughs> Get away from me. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, I got eight to death. <laughs> Game over. Wow, my first death. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Well, they weren't wrong when they were. I was going to get <laughs> obstructed by them lurkers. It's always with zombies. I never have a good time. It's always with zombies. Resident Evil, Left 4 Dead, you name it. It's always a bad time with zombies. Alright. Well, how about we just evade these guys instead? No. Stop. Ugh. I wonder what grants them the power to freaking stop me in my tracks like that. Maybe you got something to say, stupid Bone Man. No. Bone Man has nothing to say. Neither do these Bone Men. Okay. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the daily departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Oh. Keep the sun song in your heart. Left down up. Left down. No, that's right. That's not left. Right. Right down up. Right down up. Right down up. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. The sun song. Alright, now that we got that, we have the power of the day and night, which is awesome. We can change it to sun and moon at will. You've learned the sun song. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Alright, maybe that'll help with, with my dilemma with the undead. <laughs> I think that'll help me out here. All right, let's see. Hey. Yep, I heard noises. Oh yeah, it works. Ow, guacamole hurts. Yeah, this one I want. Redead. Its gaze will paralyze you. If it bites you, tap any button to escape. Yeah, this one I want revenge. <laughs> Don't feel so good doing it. Eh? Yeah, you stupid. <laughs> a death for a death. That's all I'll say. Okay, now that we got that, um, I believe we can head back to where we're, I think we're supposed to be. I thought we were supposed to be here in the first place, but no, I just remembered where I need to go. Bada boop bop. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have drank my milk. <laughs> That's what I should have done. I'm a fool. Kakariko Village. Ah, yes. What's up with you? What should I do? My cuckoos have all flown away. You, little boy, please. Please help me bring them back to this pen. Ah, do I have to? Come on. Come here. There we go. There you go. That's one. My cuckoos have run away. Please catch six, six more? Are you? Yes, seven of these things? <laughs> well, I don't even know where to start. Okay, there's one over there. So, oh dear. This is gonna be a hassle. Sup? Impa said that the spiritual stone of fire is somewhere on Death Mountain. I know that, but I gotta go help this lady with her chickens real quick. Come on. I already caught some super cuckoos, but this is beyond super. This is like ultra cuckoo status. Losing so many feathers. Relax, dude. There's another one up there, I see. Yay! Alright. Eh. And then grab this one. There you go. Whoop. 
Wait, probably we'll need another one, just in case. Come here. Come here. Don't run from me. Don't run from me. There we go. Onward! I don't even know where to start. There's another one up there. Okay. Up here, maybe? Ugh, this is so weird. At diggity. Oh, no, not in there. Okay. Up here. I think. Whee! Yeah, there's a... There's a uh, wait, wait, wait. Turn back. Ah! <laughs> okay. Now... Uh... Yeah, how did you even get over here, dude? Well, yep. They better. I hold on. If I'm remembering, aren't there some chickens in some crates too? <laughs> I hope to God there isn't. Oh, there's one up here too. What? <laughs> what is going on with these chickens? These cuckoo birds. Fun fact: This is where I got the name Cuckoo Crew, by the way from these cuckoos from Legend of Zelda. That's the sole reason why you guys are called Cuckoo Crew, because of these chickens. <laughs> uh, the secret has been exposed. All right. That's two. Come here, come here. So this will be three. Eh. Three. Come on. Or is one over there maybe. Okay, there's still one right here. Come on. I want them tail feathers. I want them succulent chicken legs and breasts and thighs. What other parts do you eat from a chicken? I know you can eat chicken feet, that's a thing. Eww, freaky. Alright, that's five. Uh, this last one was somewhere over here. Oh, there's also chicken gizzards. And then there's chicken heart. Ugh. Um, chicken beak, I think. <laughs> I hope not. Come here. Yes! Our chicken hunt is over. Whee! I don't know about you, but I feel pretty, uh, fulfilled today. There. My cuckoos have run away. Please help me bring the last... What do you mean, last one? What? There's more? Wait. <laughs> let me, let me count these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there is one. Seven! Uh, wait. One, two, stop moving. One, two, three, four, five, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is one more, let me see. Huh? Ugh. One more. <laughs> one more chicken's missing. I gotta go find it. I'm not, I'm almost there. Our objective is almost done. Is it all the way in the front? Unless that was the one I just picked up. Nope, not over here. Where am I missing the chicken? I swear to G, if there's one in a, uh, a crate, I better go find it now. Great. Great crates. There is one in the crate. <laughs> oh my god. I knew it. <laughs> Come here, stupid bird. <laughs> There is a blasted chicken in the crate. How did you even... You know what? I ain't even stunting. I'm not stunting them. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping... Why don't you wear gloves? <laughs> Wouldn't that... Never mind. 
For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass. It should be useful. Please take care of it. Oh, cool. We need that anyway. Another bottle. You got an empty bottle. After you put something in this bottle, set it to the C button when you want to use the item inside. Okay. Cool. I don't know why she just can't wear gloves. Is that... Unless those feathers... Is it the feathers or is it the chicken itself? That's what I need to know. Wear a protective armor or something. Like, ask one of the Knights of Hyrule and just <laughs> put yourself in an armor suit. Ah, uh, whatever. So many possibilities, but so little time. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Huh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid, and you can't read yet. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Death Mountain. No passage without a royal decree. Well, I got this. Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castletown Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in Hyrule Castletown Market? Everyone's talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> Alright, well, I better go... Actually, I do want to go get that discount, so... I guess I'll uh, help him out, too. Why not? Since I'm Mr. Hero and such. It's the least I can do. And I know how he feels without not having any time to do anything because of work. Ugh. <laughs> I know that feeling. Trust me. It's every day <laughs> of my existence. Alright, Hyrule Field. Oh, that's why there wasn't no music. It had to start first. <laughs> okay. I was like, I mean, in the back of my mind, I was like, why is there no music playing? Shouldn't there be music playing in the daytime? But I just had to step outside and get a, a breath of fresh air, I suppose. Check this out. This is how to get easy money. Did it. Oh, yeah, you can also face through the ground, too. <laughs> That's another thing. All right. The market. Little piggy went to market. Hey, hello. Welcome. What are you buying? I want that. Oh my god, it's 80 rupees? A Hylian shield. This is a big, heavy shield just like the ones Hylian knights use. It can stand up to flame attacks. Alright. You heard about us from the guard at Death Mountain Gate? Well, I have to give you a good deal then. Alright, you got the Hylian shield. Switch to equipment subscreen and select this shield, then equip it with the A button. Hey yo! Alright, how much was that? So, now I have 25. I don't know. I would count, but eh, <laughs> too much for the brain. Alright. Aw, hello. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask, you sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the mask, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Hmm. 
I feel like we might see this person very soon in another game, but I could be wrong. Keaton mask. Price is 10 rupees. Keaton stuff is hot, hot, hot. Alright. You borrowed a Keaton mask. Wear it with the C button to show it off. You'll be a popular guy with this mask on. Alright, well, I gotta go take this to what's-his-face. Keaton. What is a Keaton, anyway? Actually, I honestly, I don't even know what a Keaton is. Like, from this game, I know it's like an actual thing in Legend of Zelda, but I've never seen it. I thought it was just like some rando item. Sort of like, uh, this is gonna be a very obscure reference, but in Mario Party Advance, for the Game Boy Advance, there was this popular TV show that was going around Mushroom Town, which was called Zipto, or something like that, which is, I guess, it's like this anime, um, robot f fighting robot, you know, like this big old giant toad robot that fought for justice, you know, sort of like Power Rangers in a way, but yeah, that was the thing going on in that game, and I guess it's the same thing with Keaton, which is like a popular thing, so, I don't know, let me put this on, Kakariko Village, there we go, there's the music, what's up dude, what, if you want something, just make it clear, uh, I am the boss of the carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition. You know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running aimlessly around the village, and they're not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell ya. Well... Give him some time. I like to wander aimlessly, too. Give him some time. I'm sure their heads will be out of the clouds soon. I mean, my head's always in the clouds, but I'm different. <laughs> I'm real. Here you go, dude. <laughs> Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh. Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Yeah. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. <laughs> you sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Okay, so I got five coins. Five rupees, sorry. Five rupees extra. Alright, let me put on... Yes. The Deku Nuts. Okay. We're set. Death Mountain Trail. Alright. Shouldn't be too bad, right? I already see enemies. A red tech type. Lock onto it as it jumps with Z targeting. Back. Back. Hey! That's how it's done, sir. Wait. Oh, let me grab that. I realize that I'm low on health. Alright. Hello. <laughs> nope. Thank you. Oh, ah, yes, the Gorons, my favorite. I love Gorons so much. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the D Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor uses magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Yeah, the Gorons are just like, they're so kind-hearted, actually. <laughs> and they just like to chill and relax and eat rocks. I love them. And they're very strong, too. Gorons are the best. It. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, here comes a Goron. No.
Alright, this is Goron City. Land of the Gorons. Goron City. Yes, baby. Boom. 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 Goron City. <laughs> I love this place so much. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry. Or quarry? Quarry? The Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Uh, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern. I wonder to a rock person, I wonder how that will actually taste, like rocks. I wonder how that is. What does it say? It looks like something used to be set in this stand. Hmm. Hey, it's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out of here. You might fall down. If I'm not mis- How did you get up here then? <laughs> like, if, if it's dangerous for me, Gorons are technically rocks, so they can- they seem like stones. I guess it wouldn't hurt if they fell, I suppose. But still, how did you get up here? If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought I would be okay to just give it one little tiny little lick, so I snuck out here. But it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother had shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Mm. Alright, that sounds like a job for me, eh? Yeah. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. Okay, this looks like the place right here. Hello. <laughs> Hello again. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Okay. Royal family's messenger. Sounds like a, a job that I can handle. Hope it ain't too big of a biden. Cool. Alright. Hello, I am the royal family's messenger. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face, now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongle's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But, this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. All right. Hmm. Don't need any help from strangers, huh? This is where the king of wholesomeness comes in. Uh, hold on. <laughs> there you go. Maybe you just need a little bit of happiness in your life. <laughs> yes, I love this part so much. Back away slowly. <laughs> Just back away from the man. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hot. What a hot beat. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what a nice dude! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. 
I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire, too. The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not gonna give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's Cavern and prove yourself. Prove you're a real man. That too. That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want. Even the Spiritual Stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick a bomb flower using the A button. Alright. You got the Goron's bracelet. Now you can pull up bomb flowers. Stand next to one and press the A button to pull it up. Yeah, we were like, we were weak before, but now with that, we can pick up stuff. I suppose. <laughs> I guess bomb flowers are very strong, I guess. Hold on, I think I gotta do something here, actually, with these torches. Uh, put on the stick. Release the stick. Yeah, there we go. Bum, ba -dum. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -ba -da There we go. Yoink. Yay! Yeah, now that thing spins. I think there's a. You gotta do something with that too. Which is. something. Something or the other. Hey, dude! Oh? We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest. What's a forest? Huh? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have a seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. I know a trick to conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press the A button to put it away before it completely burns. By the way, I hit a stick somewhere. <laughs> Alright. Well, you have fun with your stick, friend. I've got other things to worry about. How was Big Brother? I see. By the way, do you know the music coming from deep inside of this tunnel? We all like this music. Ah. Yeah, this was your hit, by the way, to play that song to Darunia. Because the Gorons love this music. Or this song, at least. There we go. Now we got ourselves, like, an access way. Eh. Yeah, I think you gotta... You have to do something with that. I know. And it has to do with a bomb. Ah! I wasn't even close. I gotta get up there somehow. Gotta figure that out. Uh, up here? Oh my god, hello! <laughs> that scared the bejeebus out of me, man. Uh, what's in here? Uh, oh my god, really? A wall after a wall? I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's gonna take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready. Oh my god. Five or six years. Holy crap. Yikes. I'll be 28 by the time this freaking thing is done. <laughs> by the way. Ow. Or 29. 28, 29. One of the two. 
Yikeroonies. Eh. Where'd it go? <laughs> Where did my bomb go? Oh, it went up there, didn't it? Yeah, I threw it up there. Okay. How do I even throw a bomb in there? That's gonna be nigh on impossible. I know you have to, though. Some way or another, some shape or form, an explosive needs to go in there. Oh, it was over there. Is there a bomb over there, maybe? I don't know anymore. I want to try to get that. Oh dear, that's not at all what I wanted. But, I can try. Get in there. Oh, jeez. Yes. Unless, hold on. Oh no, I'm, I'm doing this completely wrong. It's not that I don't need bomb flowers. I do need a bomb to throw it in that jar. But I don't think bomb flowers are going to be the trick. I think I actually have to use my own bombs, actually. Which will be later explained in throughout the game. So yeah, I'm doing I'm wasting people's time. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting your time. <laughs> I've wasted everyone's time. I just wasted 20 seconds of your life. Or some some I know that song goes something like that. Ah yes, another Goron. Unsurprising. I'm standing here to shade the bomb flowers from the sun. Do you have a question for me? Uh, Dodongo's Cavern. Did you see the cavern on your way here? That is the Dodongo's Cavern. Because the light inside is very dim, the bomb flowers, a plant unique to this mountain, grow like crazy in there. Okay, so you just need shade to protect these guys. Well, the sun is down, so you probably don't need to do it no more. Yeah. Will that work? Nope. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, it worked. Okay. I blew up the sign too in the process, though. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, he exploded. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Goran is okay. Oh, I see. We should have thrown the bomb from the cliff. Eh, I guess. I don't know what you was trying to do. Alright. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Hello. Grab this. There. Yo. Alright. Here's the next one. Dodongo's Cavern. Which I am going to end. Because like I said and for my last episode. When I. Even in the middle of an episode. And I enter a temple. I have to do it in one go. Because I fear that I'm going to get lost. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off right here guys. So if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe to get new feed on videos and become a member of the Cuckoo Crew today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can recommend the fidget games for me to play or chat your preference. Also, after you subscribe, be sure to tap that bell to get new notifications on videos so you'll never miss an upload from me ever again. But that's going to be it from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, I will conquer the Dodongo's Cavern. Hopefully, we get the Spiritual Stone to fire and then we shall move on to our next objective. So, until then... Have a nice day, have a nice night, Amateur is out, stay safe, stay sharp, and I love you all. Peace.